This is the fifth play that I've had at the Almeida. Several of them premiered here. They've all been great experiences. In many ways, this is a two-character play. It's primarily about these brothers. The guys I've written about, if I stack them next to each other, while they're all made up, they're not based on, on anybody I know, they're, uh, they're out there. That dark heart of the American male. You're not a kid, all right? You're not some teenager who can run all over doing that because it sounds stupid. You sound childish, Drew. You know, the specifics came from a knowledge of, of, a, of a kind of world, of a blue-collar world that I grew up in. It's not New York, it's not Kansas, it's some vague Midwestern town that you really wouldn't want to stop at if you, if you knew what was going on there. You are a grown man. Well, 30's the new 20. Yeah, well, you're 35. There's comedy in, in most of what I do. Anyway, this isn't the real hospital. This is just the addictions unit for us overzealous wine drinkers. Because of what I know what humor does, you know, in terms of, of telling a story. Although nobody around here likes it if you use that word crazies. One of the two brothers uh, runs into a young woman and we s watch this kind of elusive dance between them uh, of desire and, and uh, menace. So having had Mike direct the mercy seat, uh, you know, fairly intense two character piece by having him in a cast that I, you know, I'm excited as a person to see, I knew that this play would be in good hands.